If I told you two years ago, or even three months ago, you could trade two Oyster Perpetuals and buy a Meteorite Pepsi on the gray market for under its retail price, would you believe me? This is the story of one of the most ridiculous Rolex deals you will ever hear. Let's roll the intro and jump straight into it. Unless you're new to the watch collecting hobby or interested in watches and have been living under a rock for the past few years, the watch market has reached an insane height the likes of which are unseen in the industry's history. The explosion of the aftermarket prices of watches can be attributed to a number of factors. Firstly, social media has provided an important medium to reach more people than ever and get them started on their watch collecting journey to begin with. Secondly, as a result of COVID, we have more time and disposable income than ever, and we are collectively looking for new hobbies to keep ourselves entertained. And thirdly, with more watch buyers than ever and with watch collections growing to greater numbers, prices of pre-owned watches have shot up given the stock shortages many brands have been faced with. As a result, the Swiss watch industry witnessed its most lucrative year ever in 2020, only to be outdone the following year in 2021. It's safe to say the watch market is currently booming. One brand is unsurprisingly at the center of it all. That brand being the five-pointed crown, better known as Rolex. In 2020, Rolex released a new lineup of Oyster Perpetuals with colorful dials, harkening back to Stella dial day dates of old. When they were originally released, most of these new releases were overlooked, except for the one that many believed was the best from the line, the turquoise dial or OP, or as it's better known, the Tiffany OP. Although the Tiffany OP was well received initially, it quickly became made of unobtainium when Patek Philippe launched the 5711 with a Tiffany blue dial in collaboration with Tiffany & Co to celebrate their 170 year partnership. Unbeknownst to many people, Patek Philippe would likely not be around today were it not for Tiffany. This would also be true had the Stern family also not intervened and purchased Paddock in 1932 during the Great Depression. The release of the Tiffany dial 5711 set the watch world into total chaos, and overnight it seemed any watch with a turquoise colored dial was now selling at a multiple of its list price just 24 hours before. The Tiffany OP was certainly no exception. Now it's reached delusional prices as high as $70,000. No, really, that's not a joke. It's just pure delusion. This is precisely when what I believe to be the Rolex deal of the century occurs. As a watch YouTuber, I will sometimes get private collectors who reach out to me asking for my advice. In this case, a viewer reached out right around Christmas, which is the perfect time to sell a watch. He had two OPs, a Tiffany OP and a yellow OP, and was looking to trade out of it and purchase something else. He had expressed interest in a number of GMTs and Daytonas in the past, and this is when I felt obligated to tell him not to buy a Daytona. Instead, I told him to offer a Meteorite GMT, which I felt was a much better choice given the ridiculous price of Daytonas and because I feel the Daytona is simply not worth it. For anyone who's watched my channel before, you know my favorite watch from Rolex is the GMT Master 2. The reason is quite simple. There are many great alternatives to the Daytona and the Submariner and many other Rolex watches for that matter, but there is no replacement for the GMT Master line. Simply put, no one makes a GMT quite like Rolex. And so, that's why I ultimately recommended the Meteorite GMT. And of course, on his end, he had a huge interest in the watch as well. And when it comes to GMTs, there's just no denying that the Meteorite GMT, or specifically the Rolex GMT Master II reference 126719 BLRO, is the apex predator of the line. It is as close to a bespoke piece as one can get from Rolex, given the fact that no dial patterns will ever be the same. Overall, the trade consisted of the two OPs and some cash for the Meteorite GMT. All in all, the cash he paid for the OPs and the cash he paid out of pocket in this deal allowed him to buy the Meteorite GMT and pay less out of pocket than he otherwise would have if an AD gave him the call for that specific watch. I believe this is a deal that this collector will look back on in a few years time and realize how smart of a trade it was. And in the process, he gets to enjoy a truly unique watch. I think this deal is also a testament to how ridiculous the watch market has become. The Oyster Perpetual line is the most basic and cheap watch as Rolex sells, and yet it has become one of its most desired simply because people have bought into the hype of what is arguably becoming one of the tackiest watches ever made in my mind. Sure it's rare, and I'm sure it will sell for a gazillion dollars, 
if one ever comes up at auction or on the gray market, but that doesn't make sense or makes it worth it. You can have your Tiffany LPs and 5711s all you want. I would choose the GMT any day of the week.